These are brand new, which means we don't know anything about them at all. No pictures, no nothing. So this is going to be really fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. oh, wow. The treehouse sleeps four in this large open space, two in the giant super king bed and two in the other smaller beds stylishly hidden in the space. The interior walls are expertly fitted plywood, creating a seamless natural look from the inside out. The bed linen is soft and high quality and the bed is incredibly comfortable. The main area is simple with light pouring in from every direction and views of the woodlands and wetlands from each window. When you're staying in these spaces, they all have something different and the thing that this place has really got right is making you feel like there is no one for miles. Even though there are people close by, you can't see anyone forever and it's a really, really, really well thought out thing. The whole feel of this treehouse seems to be about placing you in nature in a way that feels effortless, natural and organic. And it's exactly that that leads us to my favourite part of this treehouse. Oh my god! The outdoor cooking and dining area. This high-end outdoor kitchen forces you, quite willingly, to spend a large portion of your time outdoors. It's spacious, fully featured, and has an overhead heater for those cooler evenings. The crockery and kitchen accessories are nicely designed and in keeping with the rest of the kitchen space. Also on the deck is a stunning contemporary fire pit which helps to zone the deck space, giving you somewhere to relax outside of the covered area. And just hidden beyond the kitchen is a luxurious rustic roll top bath. The bath is perfectly placed and manages to be both a centerpiece and invisible at the same time, framed beautifully by the surrounding woodlands. So when you book to stay at these tree houses, you get a whole list of different like food packages and things that can be here when you arrive. And this goes from like little snacks and things all the way up to proper meals. So we've got some milk, we've got some Prosecco, we've got some, uh, some of the meals that we picked off of the list, which we're gonna prepare in a little while, so you can see it then. Some fresh fruit, just some extra stuff that you wouldn't normally see. The tree houses are designed by Miller and Howard Architects and built to provide a space for people to rewild themselves and reconnect with nature. The L-shaped design feels perfect for its setting, with half of the space indoors and the other half outdoors. The treehouse almost feels like it's secondary to the towering woodland around it, which is in keeping with the intention of the space to be less an object to be admired and more a vessel for an experience. But that doesn't mean that it's not a totally beautiful thing. Its straight lines and natural colors sit modestly over the woodland below. And at this time of year, the woodland floor is covered in flowers, along with the herbs and flowers on the deck. Inside the treehouse, you can sit and watch the woodland slowly sway around you and maybe allow time to pass at the pace that it's supposed to. Outdoors and indoors are blended perfectly. As we've already noted, the design of the space means you spread your activity naturally between indoors and out. For us, much of the food was prepared and cooked indoors and we moved outside to eat. So the light's starting to fade here at the treehouse. As light fades in these spaces, they can often take on a whole new feel. The evening arrives and the fire pit becomes the center of the universe. I need to note here that there is outdoor lighting, but I had an idea that the lantern they provide would throw light all over the outdoor space in the dusk and complement those upright lines. If the intention is to forget the day to day, nothing does that quite like a hot outdoor bath on a cool night on the deck of a treehouse. The rest of the world just fades away with the daylight and it's just you and the surrounding trees.
Warm lights and fire make the whole space glow. And outside the door on the wooden walkway is beautifully lit, which casts a subtle light out onto the woodland floor around you. As usual, it's an early rise and breakfast is being prepared on the outdoor kitchen, again encouraging us to spend more time outside in the woods. The only thing left to do is get coffee from the machine. The breakfast hamper contains a whole range of options, all of which were amazing. So it is the next morning here at the treehouse, and I wanna go through some of the kind of really interesting but kind of tiny features of this space. The first thing I wanna talk about is the door lock. So you get a little key fob and you can beep it on the thing and it opens the door, but from the inside, there's a little button which locks the door. I'm told the normal way of doing it is that you get a little app and you can beep it with your phone. That's not how it happened for us, but the tree houses aren't actually open yet, so that's, that may be how it goes. The next thing I thought was really interesting is this bin right next to me. Obviously anyone can get one of these bins, but it's automatic so when you walk up to it it flips open by itself or when you press the button it opens and you press a button to close I'm not sure whether I personally need one of these kind of bins but it is definitely a really nice novelty to have when you're in a place like this lots of places have nice speakers Bluetooth speakers and things that you can connect to to play music podcasts but what I really like about the one here is how it's got the music services built in so you just have to pick the podcast you want to listen to and you can listen to it something else that's really helped us out and it's very very specific is that the little USB chargers next to the beds the ones in the walls it has USB a and USB C and most phones these days come with USB-C chargers in the box. It's a tiny little detail, but it's actually been quite significant for us here. The shower head is amazing. It kind of produces this really fine mist, uh, which is really powerful, so it feels like effective at cleaning you, but it just feels amazing. It feels luxurious and it really, really adds to the experience. The next thing I want to talk about is that fire pit. The fire pit adds this kind of focal point to the whole of the deck space. And because it's a little bit more contemporary and the way that the flames come out of the top of it and you store the logs, it kind of acts as much more of a focal point than usual. And I really, really like that. Something else which took me by surprise is the soap here is amazing. The bottle that it comes in is a beautiful design. It's different, it's striking. The mechanism of the soap dispensing is good quality, if that's even a thing. And the soap itself is amazing. It's obviously a very high-end brand and don't Google it because I did and it's very expensive, way out of my price range, but really nice thing to have in a space like this. It just kind of elevates the experience. Another nice little addition, which is just a hidden thing, is a clothes steamer that they've got here. It's nice to be able to take your clothes out of your suitcase and get them looking nice and fresh again, particularly as taking photos and sharing them with the people who aren't here is a big part of these experiences. And, you know, if you want to get your dresses to look less creasy, then clothes steamer is essential and it's nice to have. And something else which has really made this stay special has been the food that they've provided. You can choose from all sorts of different things on the menu as far as I'm aware. And just the quality of the food and the feel of it all is really, really nice. A lot of the stuff is produced here and a lot of the stuff is produced locally and the rest of it is all just really good quality. The way that they package it up and give it to you just feels like you've got nothing that you need to worry about in a space like this. You can just relax and get on with your weekend. Our treehouse at Rewild Things on the Elmore Court Estate gave us an unforgettable experience. A perfect mix of indoor and outdoor living with loads and loads of little luxury sprinkled on top. Surrounded by woodlands and wildlife, we were treated to local and homegrown foods all within an impeccably designed space that helps you feel like you found somewhere special. These tree houses are respectfully built in a low impact and sustainable way that puts humans in a place that should make you feel at home. So I really hope you enjoyed tagging along with us here at the tree houses here at Rewilding Things. If you want to know more about them, I'll leave a link to them in the description. And if you want to see more tours just like this one, I've got a whole load on the channel. So just hit the profile, check it out and hit subscribe if you want to see more. If you do, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.